Okay, hi. It's cold and windy and snowy and rainy out here, so I got, I'm all dressed up. I mean, he's basically showing me today that, um, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. The opposite of fear and the way to get rid of fear is to, uh, to understand love, power, and a sound mind. And he took me to the scripture, uh, the scripture that says that we are not delivered into the bondage of spirit, of fear, but into the glorious liberty of the sons of God, where we cry, Abba, Father. In other words, uh, it's something like that. In other words, what, what it's saying is, when we don't have a spirit of fear, which is bondage, but we have a spirit of adoption. Because we're God's kids, um, we don't have to fear. The chapter goes on to say, talk about the love of God and uh, how he's given us his spirit which is the Holy Spirit, the spirit of his son, which, so that we can, and it talks about intercession and prayer. And then at the end of the chapter, it says, who can separate us from the love of God? Can uh, nor depth, nor height, nor principalities, or powers, and goes over a list. So basically, what I'm getting out of it, and what God's showing me is, when the opposite of fear is love. And when you understand that you are God's son, not child. A child of God is immature and not grown up. But a son of God is ready to take his rightful place as an heir of all things and a joint heir with Jesus and rule the world uh, through Jesus. But when you know that you are a son of God, you know that God loves you and you're no longer in fear. The opposite of the spirit of fear and fear is a spirit. It's not just a feeling. The feeling is the aftermath of the spirit. It brought me to the scripture uh, that he said, uh, his voice came from heaven and it said, um, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. He didn't say, this is Jesus. He called him his beloved son. So he was showing us what a son, how a son behaves and showing us that everything that Jesus has and and in, in all the things that he did that we can do because he has given us he's given us the spirit of his son and he did it all for us he didn't have to conquer the devil because he was already God but he did it all for us so he conquered the devil for us he took our sin for us he became poor for us so we could become rich he took the stripes on his back so he uh, he became uh, cursed for us so that we would be healthy he took the curse of the uh, world on us in, in his crown so that we could walk in dominion and authority as kings on earth and he did all that for us <laughs> so he showed, showed me that and I wanted to add that onto the video clip <laughs> that we're his kids and um, we can act and expect the same thing that Jesus has the same kind of relationship <laughs> that Jesus has with his father and I'm Robin Bremer and that's it for today and I'm out